Today in our headquarters in Tampa, Florida, we co-hosted with the local ISACA chapter an AI lunch and learn event. And we went over things like AI governance, security and compliance, and what organizations can start thinking about with regards to getting ahead of AI and the risks that it could potentially pose. We just received our official accreditation for A and AB last week. So this standard, it's uh, really been boosted up by several factors, not only our accreditation and the ability to do the work, but you know, several large players in the industry, such as Microsoft, have been implementing this into their supplier due diligence program. So it's a standard that uh, organizations really need to uh, start thinking about and planning about early. One of the biggest things is understanding the variability within your system and then capping that variability putting on uh, safeguards, putting on restrictions to the amount of time and the amount of places your model can go and the things your model can do, right? Really don't give it the whole internet, don't give it the whole wild west, really strictly limit the scope to what you're using AI for and understand that, right? Make, make sure it makes sense. The ISO brand name is strong in the US with 27,001 in its history. So with 42001, I mean, that's the idea. You have an avenue for promoting trustworthy AI. And for those who are kind of left behind, it will be just that. You'll, uh, you'll lose out on business that potentially your competitors uh, may be able to leapfrog you on.